The importance of a good marketing campaign and properly branding your business is paramount in any new small business. Unless you're a multi-billion dollar company like McDonald's, you can't get away with a giant, vague looking M to advertise your new burger joint. McDonald's could not get away with this logo nowadays without already having a zillion dollar industry. Seriously, a giant M to show us that they sell hamburgers? It doesn't make any sense. Burger King's logo is a thousand times better and they showed an image of a hamburger. Seriously, even in the name, Burger King. It says what they do and in their logo. It's perfect. You and I are not zillion dollar companies, so we need to have a quick and easy to remember logo that conveys what we do. Let's first talk about what not to do. We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a few bad examples that we can all recognize. Here's one. Starbucks, their logo from a few years ago before they're a billion dollar industry of today. Notice anything wrong? The name Starbucks is not in the logo. It's just a weird artistic drawing with no name. Here's what it looks like today. Or the Cleveland Browns football team, a multi-million dollar organization. And here's their logo. An off-brown helmet? What were they thinking? What the heck is a brown anyways? Here's another one. Kumon, after school tutoring program. Are they trying to confuse people? Or are they the ones that are confused? Or uh, do they even know what's going on? What were they thinking? Those are all good examples of bad logos. What a missed opportunity. You have to catch the client's attention in the first two seconds of glancing at your logo or they will not understand what you do. Again, we are not a zillion dollar company with a hundred years of experience under our belts with international name recognition. We can't get away with a weird giant yellow M. It's got to be quick and easy and simple. Hey, if you're getting anything out of this video today, please hit the thumbs up on the video, comment and subscribe below for more videos like this. And without further ado, let's get into some more concrete examples. Here's a good one. Amazon.com. It's an easy name to, name to say, spell, and it simply gives you their website address. Perfect. Here's something closer to home. Good roofing company. Simple picture of a roof and it says what they do in their name. There's no mistaking this is a roofing company. Here's another one. Great. They scoop dog waste. Cute picture of a dog with a shovel and it says dog waste removal. Simple, easy to say and spell. Here's my logo. Picture of a lawnmower. Simple. My name is Keystone Lawn Care. Or, here's another lawnmowing outfit, Boyd's Lawn Care. This guy nailed it. Lawnmower. Clear, easy to say, and read. Just like Amazon.com or Scoop Troop Dog Waste Removal. Great example. Not only does the logo and branding need to be good, but the name of the business needs to be easy to say and spell also. Amazon.com's first name was Abracadabra. Makes sense. Items magically appear on your doorstep after ordering online. Well, when Jeff Bezos first pitched this name to the investors, the investors misheard him and thought he said abracadaver and thought, what the heck do dead bodies have to do with buying stuff online? Forcing Jeff Bezos to change the name to Amazon.com. Not a bad change. The Amazon River being the longest, biggest, and most thriving river in South America, Jeff Bezos' dream was becoming the world's largest online retailer, selling everything from A to Z. That's a good example of what I'm trying to get at today. You'll have to really think about the name of your business or, you know, if it's too late and you've already got a name and a brand, maybe you need to rebrand to something better. Businesses do this all the time. Rebranding and changing a logo is common. So don't feel like it's the end of the world if you decide it's time to make a change. Changing things up can be good so long as it's not a huge change causing confusion in what you do. If you aren't sure, ask a friend or family member for help. Better yet, look into an advertising service out there that specializes in this sort of thing. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. Hire a pro if you're unsure. Imagine how confusing it would have been if it was 
not Amazon.com, and Abracadaver. Oh man. Start with your local sign store or your promotional company. Oftentimes, these companies have whole departments that specialize in helping with new businesses. If not, they will certainly be a good soundboard to bounce ideas off of. Sign and promotional businesses do this sort of thing for a living and help thousands of people just like you and me. They can suggest what colors look good together, to what kind of font to use, and, and the placement of your phone number on the sign. That's another thing. Don't use your phone number, don't put it in yellow, because it's hard to read from a distance. Simple tips like this are why you need to talk to a professional when starting something as important as your new business or your new brand. Okay, I think you get it. Having a good logo and a name is important to getting started. I named my business Keystone Lawn Care for a reason. I always like the image of the keystone. It's the uppermost part in an arch that connects the two halves. It also carries a slightly Christian reference as that Jesus was the keystone or cornerstone to the Christian religion. Also, having a sharp looking yard can be the keystone of your property. Keystone is easy to say, spell, and read. Top it off with a good lawnmower logo, and I got myself a good start for a successful business. I hope you've gotten something out of this video today. If you had, please leave the thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.